Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of how to connect to Azure uh, using uh, command line, uh, specifically PowerShell. Uh, we are going to explain the three different ways to do it. Uh, one, to get into uh, uh, Azure Arm, which is the Azure Resource Manager. How to get into Azure AD, which is Azure, Azure Active Directory. And uh, thirdly, Azure CLI, the Azure Command Line. Um, all of them are very straightforward, uh, but uh, let's roll through it and we'll show you how it works. Very first thing you need to do is bring up a PowerShell. So that PowerShell has been brought up as an administrator. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're running a uh, newer version of PowerShell. If you have an older version, of, well, many of these commands just won't work. So that is the command for that. It's just a PS version. By the way, we will have all of these commands on our site at www.urtech.ca and the link to the specific page with these commands is in the uh, bottom. Just scroll down and look at the notes of this video. Okay, so there we go. And basically you need to be running at least version five. So for these things to work. So that's the first thing. So to connect to Azure Active Directory, we'll go through that one first, Azure AD. Uh, the command to install is pretty much just English. Uh, get the module and install it. Microsoft Online. Now, normally you will see uh, something here that's asking you for a trusted or untrusted repository, and you'll need to click yes to that uh, or all, uh, which is what I always select. Um, uh, just to take note of that. In my case, we're not seeing it because I've already approved it. Now we need to connect directly to your account. We need to authenticate you. So what you do is run that command and it will pop up and ask. I'm going to uh, skip this so you can't see it, but uh, there we go, now I'm connected. And you can now run uh, PowerShell commands against your uh, uh, Azure AD. Here's a list of the commands. Just to prove this works, let's grab a get command here. So to verb get, let's go with um, contact. I'm just gonna copy that while I write it. So that is Azure AD. Next, let's connect to Azure Resource Manager, Azure AD. So again, bring up a command line. By the way, yes, I could just continue with the existing one, but I want to bring up a fresh one just in case you only care about Azure AD, or sorry, Azure Arm. So the way to do this again is just to check your version. Uh, you don't have to do this every time. As long as you know you're running version five, uh, you're okay. This is again, so we're still okay. Obviously no changes. Now we have to add the Azure Resource Manager is a clever command, just like that. Then after it's installed, you actually have to activate it by importing it, which I always find odd, but that's what you have to do. So just do it. This is taking a good long while, so I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait. There we go. Now we need to uh, sign in. So clever command again. So I'll bring up a browser. I'm going to uh, cut this so you can't see it. There we go. And we're up. Signed in now. Okay. So let's roll through some commands just so you can see that this is actually working. I'll do get, uh, and I'll just press tab here and I'll type AZ and then tab. And you can see I get tab complete as I click through these. Let's do Azure, uh, let's do uh, Azure RM uh, tenant. Let's pull up my tenant information here. There we go. And there it is. So that's Azure Resource Manager. Now Azure Resource Manager was largely replaced at the very end of 2018. Uh, and uh, so effectively 2019 is when it came out, uh, the new product, and that is the new Azure CLI, uh, better known as Command Line Interface, CLI. And that, uh, the commands for uh, that are just AZ. So let's show you that. So yet again, I could continue from where I was, but I will bring up a fresh PowerShell. And as you can see, it's running as an administrator. So again, check the version, which again, you don't have to do if you know you have version five or newer, but Let's just check it on principles. There it is. Next thing we need to do is to 
install the CLI, um, the actual command line. Now you can actually get an MSI from Microsoft and you can install it, but it's just easier to run from the command line because it's just a simple command. So you don't have to go hunting for it. And there's the command. You think, well, it's not simple. Okay, fine, but you're just copy pasting it anyway, so who cares? Now I've already got this installed, so this is gonna run a lot faster for me. You can see it counting up at the top here. Uh, if you do not already have the Azure CLI installed, you will see that it, um, um, well, it just looks a little bit different. Uh, if you do have it installed uh, and you run this command, it'll actually update it if there's an update, which is kind of nice. So uh, I'd suggest you run the command regardless. I'm going to speed this up because it takes a minute. I don't want you to sit here and get old. Okay, that's done. Now we have to log in. Uh, so it's just to have to get prompted for your credentials. So it's a much better command than the previous ones. Easy login, makes sense to me. Bring up a separate browser. And yet again, I will block this so you can't read what I'm typing in. All right, so there's some commands, which is a, that's a nice little thing that flips you over to. Let's pull this out of the way. So for fun, let's run a couple of commands. Just to show you the AZ functionality. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.